Hello everybody, Don't Blink here again with another Battlefield 3 gameplay commentary for you guys. And today I'm going to be talking about Battlefield 3 and its upcoming expansion packs as well as Medal of Honor Warfighter. Because currently Gamescom is taking place over in Germany and EA is out in full force. So I thought I'd keep you guys up to date on exactly what they're showing. And obviously I'll be leaving links to anything that I talk about today in the description to this video. So first up, let's talk about Battlefield 3, since this is a Battlefield 3 video, primarily. And uh, the trailer and footage that they showed of Battlefield 3 and its upcoming expansion packs looked really solid. I didn't see anything that kind of turned me off or made me think that I was going to be less than satisfied with the uh, expansion packs yet to come. Of course, they started off with Armored Kill. That was the emphasis in their demonstration, and that's looking really solid. They finally showed some footage of the final map, which is called Death Valley. Death Valley is based on a location here in California. I've actually been there. It's a pretty terrible place. Uh, it gets extremely hot uh, in the summer during the day. But uh, the coolest thing about the map is just the fact that it's set at night. And that's something that a lot of people have been asking for, and I'm happy to see that DICE is really looking, uh, listening to player feedback. They already kind of revealed Almor's Mountain, which is a snow map, which is another thing that the community has been clamoring for. And now they have a night map in Death Valley, so I'm really looking forward to Armored Kill. I think it's going to be solid. They're going to have that tank superiority game mode, which looks interesting. I don't know how it will play out because it is centered around one flag and is just going to be uh, vehicle whores paradise, but we'll see how it turns out and hopefully it won't be too repetitive, too boring, or too frustrating. Uh, but then also to kind of finish off the trailer, they also showed a first look of Aftermath, the expansion pack coming out after Armored Kill in December of this year. And Aftermath is set uh, in the city, I believe Tehran, right after the earthquake which takes place in Battlefield 3's single player campaign. And the kind of the hook behind that expansion pack is it's going to be really kind of blown out, destroyed cityscapes with lots of rubble, lots of destruction, and based on the very short glimpse which was shown to us in the trailer today, it does look like they're, they're going to be delivering on that aspect of the expansion pack. The amount of destruction, the detail in the dis destruction was very, very impressive. And I'm hoping that they will allow for full destruction of buildings in those levels. Because I think that would fit with the theme of the expansion pack and make for some really cool battles. Something else that I'm looking forward to in relation to relationship to Aftermath is just the fact that they're going to be featuring uh, kind of heavily modified civilian vehicles. That's what they've been mentioning in uh, interviews about that expansion pack. And that should make for some interesting experiences and you know there will be unique civilian vehicles in that expansion pack that won't be able to be found or used in the other levels of Battlefield 3's multiplayer. So it will uh, kind of provide for some unique experiences in Aftermath specifically. And of course, there were some other kind of logistical announcements. Uh, DICE said that they're going, going to be releasing a premium edition of Battlefield 3, which will just include the core game of Battlefield 3 as well as Battlefield Premium. So you'll get all of the expansion packs. And it's also going to inc include, I believe, a limited shortcut kit for new players just to kind of give them a little bit more firepower so that they can uh, stand up to some of the veterans of the game at this point. Which I really don't have any problem with. Uh, getting into Battlefield games in the past after they've been out for a while can be very painful just because uh, the veterans really do just have so many more weapons and so many more abilities and upgrades and stuff. So I'm not really uh, too upset about that. And Battlefield Premium Edition is going to be uh, $69.99 here in the U.S. So uh, I think that's a fair price. Kind of bums me out that I paid $110 for a game that will now be available for $70, basically. But uh, that's all good. And as for Medal of Honor Warfighter, they showed a new multiplayer trailer. 
which featured three maps, and it looked really solid. Uh, the more I see of that game, the more excited I become for it. I actually pre-ordered it just yesterday from Green Man Gaming with a coupon code, so I got it for just 45 bucks, which I think is a really good deal considering how much time I put into 2010's Medal of Honor. So I'll be leaving links to uh, that deal as well in the description of this video. And yeah, let me know. What did you like about uh, EA's Gamescom conference? What did you think of the Battlefield 3 trailer that was released? And what did you think of the Medal of Honor Warfighter trailer that was released? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.